Good morning. Happy Sunday, everybody. Um, it is a budget uh, plan with me video today. Um, should not be too long, so we're going to get right down to it. Um, just a brief introduction. My name is Erica, and this is Mama on a Mission. My mission in life is to be debt-free, stress-free, and to live my best life. Um, on this channel, I do budget videos, cash stuffing videos. I will be doing travel videos, cooking videos in the near future, and some other things I might be coming up with. If those sound interesting to you go ahead and hit that subscribe button also like this video share this video comment any suggestions or comments you may have and hit that notification bell that way when I go D -d 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 -d, you won't miss a beat um, so today we're going to be doing the budget that is going to be coinciding with my cash stuffing video that I'll be doing for either Wednesday or Thursday it depends on when my check uh, gets deposited in my bank because President's Day is Monday. I don't know if I will still get paid um, on my normal day on Wednesday, but if I don't, I will be doing the video on Thursday and then I will go ahead and make sure that I um, upload it on that day. As you all can see, I don't have my nail spanks on. I'm going to have it on for Wednesday and you see the difference, huh? The fatness is showing. The fatness is showing. It makes me want to puke. But that's okay. We're not here to look at my nails. We're here to do the budgeting. Um, so today I want to show you guys how I budget every week because I do do weekly budgets. And that way when I do my cash stuffing, I know what I am putting in to my envelopes. And because next week is the last week of, or the second to the last week of the month, um, I've already pre-planned my March budget. So I'm going to have you guys look at that with me. If you hear noise in the background, it's because every single kid is home today. It's a Sunday. Um, husband's home. Everyone's home. So you guys know that I am a mom of six kids. One that doesn't live here anymore, but you know. And for us moms, it's tight, right? So let's get right down to it and see what we can do here with our budget. All right, now that I've repositioned everything, I'm gonna push this to the side here, and we're just gonna go off basic pen and paper. When I do my budget, it's basic pen and paper. Um, and then I go ahead and write down anything that I may need to remember on my Erin budget, Erin Condren budget planner, which is this one here. Anything that I use today, I will link below as best as I can, so you all can take advantage. Um, budgeting, it's its not something that you can just, you got to think about it, right? You got to kind of figure out where you need your money to go, where your money has been going, get a roadmap down so you can follow that road and not get off track. And of course, there are times in life where you do have to make a detour, right? Uh, but that's why we do cash stuffing. That's why we do sinking funds. That's why we do emergency funds. So um, for those that have never done a budget, this video is for you. For those that have done a budget and it hasn't worked, this is how I do mine. This is how I've been doing mine. And it seems to be working out okay. Um, this budget is for any type of income. It doesn't matter if you are low income, you know, high income, whatever. This will work with anybody. Um, coming the summertime, I am going to be featuring an app that will do uh, pretty much what I'm going to be doing on paper. Um, hopefully, fingers crossed. And um, I will definitely be doing my uh, budget wallet planner, journal, self-care series. Um, so that should be coming out late summer. I'm excited about that. So we're going to go ahead and I do need my calculator. So let me grab that real quick. All right, got my calculator. So we're ready to go. Um, first thing is first, I always put the date. So I'm going to go ahead and put the date of my payday, which is usually Wednesday, but I'm going to put Thursday instead. So I'm going to put 2-23-2023. And I'm going to Put this here so you guys can see if for some reason you guys can't read my handwriting um i don't know if that works forgive me because <laughs> your girl's handwriting is horrible which is why i type everything um first thing i do is i put my income up here 
and then I list whose income. All right, so I'm estimating my husband to have 1100. And that's, I'm always doing net pay. And I'm estimating me because I got a bonus this week. And then my regular, let me see, $18.88, which is what I make. Um, we're going to minus maybe about $450 for taxes and 401k. So I'll leave with $1060. So we're looking at $2060. And I usually don't get that much, but I got a $1,000 bonus uh, this pay period because I did a referral. Uh, last year, they've been with the company six months, and once they're with the company six months, you get your $1,000 bonus. So once I add this up, we're looking at $3,160. Okay. All right, so that is my estimated income. Of course, it can go higher, but it will not go lower because I always try to estimate the lowest amount so I don't overdo it for myself. Uh, the next thing I do is bills to pay this week. All right, so first bill is going to be Cox, and that's going to be $148. It's 147 and some change, but I've rounded it up. Let me see if I can. All right. Hope that's better, y'all. All right. The second bill is going to be AT&T. That's 770 The reason why it is so high is because Kobe broke my husband's phone, the back of it. My husband's the type of person that if there's even a smidget of a crack, he's like, I got to get a new phone. So we end up doing an insurance replacement. And uh, that went on our bill for this month. So that was $250. So that's why our bill is higher. I also have about 15 lines on my account because once everyone found out I was working for AT&T, they jumped on the bandwagon. But because they're my brothers and my dad, of course you can be on my plan. I love you guys, right? <laughs> uh, but normally my bill is about $580 maybe. Um, and that's with the discount. If I didn't have the AT&T discount, y'all, it would be in like the thousands for sure, like every single week. Uh, the next bill that we're going to need to pay this week, I'm trying to remember. Um, let me take a look here. I got to take a look at what I pre-wrote last night because I kind of did the numbers here last night. Uh, my car insurance. And that's going to be $358. And this is auto pay. So I always put AP for auto pay. And I know that that is there. Uh, union dues, which is for my husband. I'm estimating about $350. Um, but I have to call for the final amount, so I'm not sure. Um, so I think that's all of the monthly bills because uh, rent is not due until the first, so we're not paying that until March, of course. So if we total this up, so we're at 16. Twenty-six. All right, so thirty-one sixty minus sixteen twenty-six is fifteen thirty-four left over. So I'm going to bring this here. Fifteen thirty-four. Now we're going to do one-time expenses plus. Uh, other, which is what I use for like groceries, gas, because that's not like a bill, but it's an expense. So my husband got a got a ticket. <laughs> he got a ticket. So driver's license fee. I don't know what that's going to be, so I have to call for that. 
um, but I know that sometime before the month of March, I have to pay that. So I'm going to call, um, Lord have mercy. They said a hundred dollars, but I'm just going to put that there just in case. Um, groceries. So I'm going to be doing $350 because I do need to get uh, supplies for the house, toilet paper, paper towels, that sort of thing. Gas, I'm upping it because my husband's going to be taking my van to work for the next two days while the kids are off for Mardi Gras week. Um, so I'm going to be budgeting $120 for gas. And Ozzy and Star which is, I usually put as a bill, um, I'm gonna be doing $250 because I do need to take them to the vet and get their dog food, which I may even put their dog food in here. I don't know, I'll see. I probably should keep it in here. So we've got totaling 100 potentially for the driver's license fee, $350 for food, 120 for gas, 250 for Star Nazi. That's $820. Okay. So if we take 1534 minus $820, that leaves a whopping $714. So what does that mean, y'all? That means that that's how much I have left to stuff my envelopes. Once my bills are paid, that's when I can stuff my envelopes. I never, ever, ever, ever stuff before my envelopes, sorry for the shaking, my envelopes. Uh, I never stuff envelopes until my bills are paid. Uh, that doesn't make sense to me. Uh, that's how I do things. So now I'm going to list which envelopes I'm going to be stuffing. So I'm, I'm going to obviously do my high priority envelopes and I do have them written down somewhere, but I think it's in the same book. Um, so my high priority binder. Okay. So that's going to be emergency, which is a hundred. Um, car care. Okay, I just totally messed that up. Car care, which is 50. Hubby gets his 40. I get my 40. Cherie gets her 30. Kids get 10 each this week because they want to go to Dollar Tree, so that equals up to 40. Um, my dad will get his 20, because y'all know he needs what? His lotto tickets. Um, college, that's what I have set, and I believe that's 50. Uh, senior year, which is for Cherie. I've got that at 50. Um, and I believe that's all I have. Let me check y'all real quick because I have it written. I have everything written down right here. I'm going to try to see if I can. All of my envelopes here, I take it a lot of time just to figure out what's going to be in what. Um, this is my high priority binder here, which will be stuffed every week no matter what. Um, so I'm just making sure I have everything. I'm not doing general savings until my emergency is filled. Um, senior year is 35, not 50, so. Um, I think I'm going to leave it at 50 because she does have a ring that she's got to pay. So, let's see what this total is. 100 plus 50 plus 40 plus 40 plus 30 plus 40 plus 20 plus 50 plus 50. That is... $420, okay? So taking away 714 is 294 left, which I'm going to actually leave in the bank. 
as a buffer. And that's my budget. That's what I do. This is what I do every single week. Um, that way I know exactly what I need to fill up um, as far as that goes. Now my wallet, I need to also do. So I may, so my wallet, my food, groceries is already taken care of. The gas is already taken care of. Let me zoom in for y'all. Uh, the other thing that my wallet has is fast food. And I'm going to put in 25. Uh, miscellaneous will get 25. Um, emergency will not get anything. And I think that's all I have. My mad money, I've already accounted for that. And then that's all that I really have. I've got gas, food, fast food, miscellaneous, emergency, mad money, and then my receipts envelope. So now that I've gotten everything laid out here, it will be easier for me to do my cash stuffing now that I've got a roadmap of my budget. You don't ever want to exceed your budget. You know, if you don't make as much as you need to, to pay your bills, doing a cash stuffing sinking fund is not something you need to do until your bills have been paid, right? That's like number one priority. So now that that has been done, what we're going to do now is show y'all my March. So I've already kind of got March together. And this is the Erin Condren budget uh, book. Um, you can also customize it. As you can see, I've got my last name with the year 2023. And I chose this watercolor, every little bit counts. I didn't wanna do too much with this. Um, but I have showcased this in one of my other videos, I believe that I did in December, I think it was New Year's Eve. Um, I'll link that video below so y'all can see that, but we're just gonna go ahead and take a look and see what's in March here. Um, so the stickers that I used um, was from Erin Condren as well. These stickers here, I, have, I will link those stickers as well below. This book here I got from Amazon. They don't have this particular model, but they do have a sticker book available at Amazon. Um, it doesn't come with the stickers, but you can use this as a place to keep all kinds of stickers because I don't have just Erin Condren in here. I have other stickers that I've got from Amazon and other little places, Hobby Lobby, things like that. So this is a great place to hold your stickers and they don't get messed up. Um, so pretty much this is my March budget. I've already gotten everything written down for the month. I've already gotten what envelopes I'm going to be stuffing, savings, nothing savings wise. I'm going to be doing is like future home, things like that. I'm not going to be doing anything like that until my emergency fund hits 1500. Okay. That's my goal. I need my emergency fund to hit 1500. Now what I am going to start doing starting this Wednesday or Thursday, once I get my paycheck is any envelope that I did not account for in this budget here that we just did. Okay, y'all, I'm sorry. That was my brother who came over um, that needed to use my computer for some work things. Um, anyway, as I was saying, starting this Wednesday or Thursday, whenever I'm going to stuff, um, I am going to be implementing putting in $1 in each envelope if I don't meet the minimum. So there is on this page right here, I'm going to show y'all real quick. This is the page that I have allocated all of the envelopes that I do, uh, my monthly expense, my high priority, my medium priority, and then on this side here is my low priority and then my savings challenge binder. All of these will be new binders that I'm getting with the exception of two. Um, if I can't stuff, um, let's say, anything a medium priority or low priority. I'm gonna do high priority regardless, right? But the point of sinking funds is to put in something, even if it's just a dollar, um, just to put something in there to save slowly to, you know, that's the point of a sinking fund, okay? So if let's say, for example, I'm always gonna fill up a high priority binder 
each week, no matter what the minimum required. But let's say I have like maybe $40 left over. I'm gonna put $1 in each envelope of each category with the exception of this because this will already be filled so that it has something in there. I actually did that uh, this past weekend off camera and just put a dollar in each of my envelopes that I have, each one listed here so that I know that I'm at least putting something in there um, just to get it started. And then of course, on days that we get paid double days, I'll be stuffing this and then this, and then I will rotate and do this and maybe low priority. And then I will go ahead and stuff the remainder of the envelopes with the dollars. But each envelope will always get stuffed. Okay, that's the goal. Um, so this is my budget here for March, and we'll go over that in detail probably next Sunday of how I did this, but I always start with a sheet of paper and then I transfer it on here. Um, on this side, I just have my financial goals for the month. And um, this down here is my one-time charges and my subscriptions. And then I always put a Bible quote that re relates to money. This one is, don't love money, be satisfied with what you have. For God has said, I will never fail you. I will never abandon you. And that's Hebrew, Hebrews, excuse me, for uh, chapter 13, verse 5. Um, that resonated with me when I did this yesterday. Um, and then over here, and again, this is in the Aaron Condren budget binder, or budget book, um, A5 series. Um, she's got it customized where you can do income, rent, utilities, transportation, groceries. She's got some blank ones here, which was really good. She didn't have that last year. Savings, health, um, entertainment. This here, this says plantation. Um, me and my brother and his girlfriend and my husband, Kelvin, we are going to the Myrtles Plantation on March 25th. I will probably be vlogging that because I want to show y'all. It's supposed to be the most haunted uh, plantation in America. Um, it's in St. Francisville, Louisiana, which is about 45, 50 minutes out from us. But that's going to be great. We're going to be staying the night there. Um, so I'm going to probably be vlogging that and just giving you guys my take. And I'll probably post it here on the same channel. Um, and then here, I'll just put my weeks here where I will do my spending. Now remember, I'm a zero cash budget, zero base cash budgeter. Excuse me. So I will be listing all my, you know, even if you don't use your card, still write down what you spend because you still have to know where your money's going to. Like you have to, right? Um, so I'm still going to be doing that. I always try to leave about a hundred dollars in my account just in case um, I need to do something uh, as a buffer. So I, I, I'm trying to to stick with that. So that is that today, y'all. Um, sorry for the mess up table. It's like a crazy desk wooden thing. I don't know, but um, y'all forgive me. But yeah, that is it, you guys, for today. Um, I was gonna do a plan with me, but my time is limited today. Um, however, I will show you briefly what I ended up doing for my February life planner. This is the Erin Condren life planner that I got from her. Um, it is the seven by nine. So let me go to February, excuse me, you guys. So here is February, and this is what I ended up doing for that. Now, before, let me pull it out. All right, sorry you guys, I just had to reposition my camera here. Um, so this is what I did for February. Obviously, we are almost out of February, but I ended up doing this uh, the same night that I was starting to put these stickers on the plan with me video that we did a couple weeks back when I first moved in. Um, and this section, I really just use it for like, this is my YouTube schedule. I will put down different days, like anniversary date nights, but as anything, as far as like, um, um, important appointments, I don't put that here. Um, these are going to be my reminder right here. And what I started doing, this was a tip from one of my viewers. Um, and I'll show you guys in a minute. 
but here is my Elmore family schedule for the month of February because each month it does change for me quite a bit. And I, I try to follow this as best as I can because I do need a schedule so that I can stay on track. Um, however, with life, things change. Uh, but this schedule has helped me out a lot depending on my work days. As you can see, Monday, Tuesday, Thursday is a different schedule versus Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Wednesday. So I have actually been following this pretty well. It's been working out for my family. So I'm using these blank pages for my monthly family schedule. Down here, I'm gonna be using this for my weight loss. And then here, I've been using the important here my important um, excuse me my important appointments and then my must urgent to do's and i'm just going to show you guys really quick of what i've been doing so i don't use a lot of color in here i might change up and start using like color pencil um, but here i've been putting how i was feeling that week and then a Bible verse right down here. So how I was feeling this week. And then a Bible verse here. And then I put my work schedule so that I know not to schedule anything during those times. And then here I would put down different things based on morning, afternoon, evening. On different appointments that I may have. Such as Sheree's eye appointment. Um, filming. Um, training for Ozzy because he started training. So just different things. And then down here I've been trying to do either either what I need to do down here or um, I may switch up next week and do um, a recipe that I'm going to cook. It just depends. So I haven't done this week yet. I'm going to actually do it when I get home and I may implement doing color pencils so that can be colorful. I may add some stickers there. So um, I will show you guys what I ended up doing on Wednesday or no, excuse me, Sunday of what I ended up doing for this week coming and probably and then maybe in, in a couple weeks I'll go ahead and do a plan with me video where I actually sit down and do my whole calendar on camera with you guys just to see uh, for you guys to see how I do it just in case it resonates with you and if you have a life planner or want to get one this is the Erin Condren 7x9 life planner vertical um, and this is the watercolor blend I believe so yeah that is pretty much it you guys so i just adopted a new sister and she's amazing and i'm gonna link her in the description as well as um in the title she does a lot of debt-free videos and debt-free journey and how to live debt-free so i really want y'all to check her out she is phenomenal and um i think you'll like her again thank you so much for joining today i appreciate y'all uh, please keep it up. Uh, the comments, the suggestions, the likes, the, the su new subscriptions that y'all are subscribing to me. I appreciate it every day. You have no idea. Thank you so much. Um, once we hit a thousand subscribers, I'll probably do a giveaway. I saw an Etsy self-care mental kit that I wanted to give away to somebody. I think I might get two of those and give one away to somebody that is everyone's deserving, but I, I want to do something like that. Anyway, y'all, I hope to see you soon. Stay safe out there and love on each other. Be smart with your money, all that good stuff, okay? Bye.